I purchased the Explore Scientific ED80 triplet refractor and it was delivered today by UPS and so we're going to open the box here and see what we've got. This particular telescope comes with a hard case, hard travel case and uh, it's surrounded in the cardboard box here by a layer of dense foam. I received everything in good condition. And there's some nice locking mechanisms on the side of the case. And a nice uh, carrying handle too. Alright, so in the box here we've got the uh, paperwork for the guarantee. So we can take care of that. And it's a nice thick foam interior here in the box. This scope includes a 2 inch dielectric diagonal. And it's in this little plastic bag here. Looks pretty nice. This is the first refracting telescope that I've owned and I wanted the 80 millimeter scope because it's uh, a good travel scope. Very lightweight, compact and it comes in this nice case. I plan to use the scope for nighttime viewing of course but uh, also for daytime terrestrial viewing I enjoy wildlife photography and uh, I live in a real scenic area, so I should get some beautiful images through this scope. I did quite a lot of research before I decided on this particular scope, and uh, I was looking for a, a small refractor with good quality optics at a reasonable price, and this scope did come in quite a bit less money. Uh, than a lot of the other ones that I was looking at with the same uh, specifications. So I decided uh, this being my first refractor I would try the Explorer Scientific and see how things worked out with it and then go from there. I was surprised that Explorer Scientific doesn't include uh, any, any booklet or manual of any type with a telescope. It's nice when you purchase something new like this to have some kind of uh, instructions for just basic uh, setup and operation. So we'll get the diagonal in here and uh, there's three little set screws that, that lock things down. Yeah, normally it's just good business practice to include a letter, thank you for buying our product and so on and uh, just kind of go over the, the basics of the scope. I discovered uh, on the back side here on the focuser there's these two uh, screws that lock things down. There's a rubber band there that you need to pull off in order to loosen up the uh, adjustments so you can you can use the focuser. And this focuser appears to be very nice, very smooth. It's a dual speed. I've never uh, owned a telescope with a du dual speed focuser, so this is going to be nice. I'll flip it around here so you can see the bigger knob is the, the faster speed. And I'll get out of the way here so you can see this uh, fine focus adjustment, which is this one right here. Very nice. Originally the, the telescope came with a finder scope, but apparently somewhere along the line they decided to drop that from the included items. So we'll be looking into uh, ordering a finder scope soon. The scope comes with a removable dew shield, and apparently you slide it off and then turn it around and, and attach it like this. The telescope's about 18 inches long with the new shield attached. When I was looking at 
Explorer Scientific's 80 millimeter refractor, I discovered there were two versions of the same scope, one for 599 and the other one for 729. And they both appeared to have the same specs. This one is the TED model, and then the more expensive one is the Essential, the ES model. And so I contacted the, the store where I was uh, considering purchasing the scope, and they told me the, the basic difference. The TED has side collimation, where the ES model has front cell collimation. Uh, there's a Crayford focuser on the cheaper one and an R&P focuser on the uh, ES model. And the Crayford does not have removable extensions, where the uh, ES model has two removable extensions. The dew shield on the TED model is removable, and the one on the uh, ES model is retractable. And finally, there's a travel case that comes with a cheaper scope, but the travel case is not included in the ES model. Otherwise, the specifications are exactly the same for both telescopes. So, I'm not quite sure what I've done here, but um, as soon as I get a new uh, eyepiece for the telescope, we'll give it a try and I'll post another video.